Here we go. We're in Chicago. <laughs> Oh no, you didn't. Well, good morning. I almost took my nighttime medicines. Oh, that would have been very much not ideal. My nighttime medicines include Benadryl and melatonin, which put me to sleep. My morning medicines do not include that. I'm going to make sure I take the morning ones. We're getting ready to fly out. We're catching an Uber in 25 minutes. Peter and Oliver are out for a walk. Harry and I have just been sitting by the fire eating and drinking some coffee. I've been drinking coffee. He's been sitting next to me thinking about drinking my coffee. <laughs> but alas, the day has come. We are flying to Chicago and we're excited. and also nervous. We're speaking at a conference. It'll probably be like 3,000 people in person and then it'll, it'll be live streamed. So we will share the link with you guys so that you can watch live. But, whoo, here we go. Oh, hi there. Are you ready for your magazine shoot? Oh, look at these two. Don't they just look like they should be on a magazine somewhere? On like Poodle's Digest or something? Or Sphinx, I was gonna say Sphinx Anonymous, but that's not right. Sphinx Digest. Hi. Hi. I see your tail wagging. I'll see that waggy. Did you and Peter have a nice walk? Was it nice? your face. Thank you. Okay, gonna do this before we go, and Ollie's gonna say, I'll see you guys later. Look at how he's looking at me, oh my goodness. We have some family coming to stay with Oliver, and I hesitate to tell him right now who's coming because he's gonna get excited and they're not coming quite yet. But they'll yeah, be here soon. Here. Oh, our ride's here. Ah! Okay, Harry, we'll see you in a couple days. Love you, baby. checked in and we'll go through TSA pre-check. Oh yeah, that'll be our that. first time. So basically, we're checking our clothes and my non-essential medicines and we're carrying on my vest and my essential medicines. Going through the pre-check was so nice. They did not take my vest out and swipe it and swipe my hands. Which usually they always do. Yeah, almost always. So that was really nice. It was just nice to be able to walk through and kind of feel like a normal person. I've had them like, one time they were patting me down and they felt my Dexcom and they were like, what is that? And I was like, it's a Dexcom. And what is that? <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. It was that, if you want to watch that vlog, I think that was the one where I tested positive for explosives which was a, like because of my medicine or something. That had never happened and it never has again. Anyway, if you wanna watch that vlog, you can watch it. But um, yeah, so it was easy and quick. Oh, she said our names. She I said, know. thank you, Peter. Thank you, Mary, when she scanned our boarding pass. That was very sweet. Oh, that was so sweet. Okay. Saying people's names makes a difference. Yes. Do we have the wipes? Yes. Wipes to wipe the seat and, and the backpack. everything else. So we don't ever anticipate a change in countermeasure should one ever occur. Four yellow oxygen masks will drop from the compartment overhead to activate the flow of oxygen.
roughest landing ever. Whoa. We're in Chicago. We spent a lot of time in this airport yeah, over the have. years during but college. This looks new. Yeah. I just flew in from the windy city. The windy city is. We just flew into the Windy City. I just flew into the Windy City. The Windy City is mighty pretty, but they ain't got what we got. No but, siree. But they do have what we don't. Portillo's. And it might snow on Thursday. I'm pretty sure at this place it used to be called cake and eat their cake too. Have their cake and eat it too. Maybe. And I think I brought a tea bag with me. And I was like, could I just get a cup of hot water? And they were like, no. I was like, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> also really good news, What's my that? oxygen, although it did drop, it stayed in the same range that it did during the altitude test. So in a safe range, which is great. It was definitely, hard to breathe like when I went up to go to the bathroom, but I recovered quickly and also, yeah, sure. <laughs> and um, that was really sweet. <laughs> he goes, can I be in it? Um, also, I'm very thankful we decided to just go with these masks because I had enough tr brother trouble breathing with this mask rather than the N95, so all good. But one thing, I'm like, seriously, body, why did my lungs need to cough slash clear my throat every 30 seconds during the flight? Meh. Do you remember when I came to visit you when you were at college before I came to college? And I came down this elevator and you were waiting for me. I don't remember that. I think that that probably happened on this elevator. Although it was a little bit different. No, it was that elevator. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That. There it is. Awesome. First stop in Chicago, mm -hmm. you can probably guess. Mm. We're going to Portillo's for lunch. Get an Italian beef croissant. Let's do this. <laughs> can I do a, a beef and cheddar croissant with hot peppers? And a beef and cheddar croissant. No, no peppers, thank you. You're welcome. Awesome, thank, thank you. Do a survey and get free fries? Yeah. Yes, please. What do you think? What? What do you think? I'm hungry. You know how in life, sometimes if you wait longer for the right thing, it's amazing, but it's hard to wait. So when you know you're going to Portillo's, but you drive by a Taco Bell and you're like a little bit tempted, <laughs> I'm really glad I waited. So let's give them a close up of oh, what yeah. we get. Okay guys, wait till you see this. This looks so unappetizing, but it is so good. So we get the beef and cheddar croissant. I get hot peppers, Mary doesn't. But look at that. Oh it's yeah. Like it's got amazing amazingness. Wait. One more cheese. It's probably underneath, I'm guessing. First bite. Street we know. And oh my goodness! Oh! There's our tea stuff. The destination will be on the left. 
Wait, is it called the L or the T here? Uh, this one is the L because it's elevated. L, that's right. So fun, that paper source right there, I used to walk to that. This is a Starbucks um, right over here. I had some meetings there and that used to be a craft store, Pearl, isn't that what it was called? Yeah. Pearl Craft Store. And like all the RAs would shop there for floor decorations. Not do that. Oh, whoops. Okay, <laughs> never mind. My RA did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I remember the first day I got on campus. I. <laughs> my parents drove me all the way here and we stayed in a hotel the night before move in day. And I got ready in the morning and I put on my little khakis. This was like the Head week I turned 18. So little, little 18 year old Mary put on her khakis and her blue polo shirt and got to campus. Today we have an exciting meeting that's not related to this conference, but we're excited for it and we will tell you guys about it when we're able. Was that not working? Well, it was on manual focus. My bad. So we are gonna say, as always. We'll see you tomorrow. See ya when there's more. Chicago fun. As always, I mean, Bye. good night. Good night. <laughs>